Hey guys, it's Milo and we're back with another Tooltip Tuesdays. Today we're going to be talking about 3D printer filaments. These are used with the types of printers we talked about in our last video. The most common type of 3D printer filament is PLA, polylactic acid. This is particularly stiff and really easy to print with, great for beginners. These can come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have everything from 200 grams to sample spools, even up to three kilogram spools that you might see in a print farm. Then the next most common type is ABS. This is the same material used to make Legos. It also has a sibling called ASA. These are both great for strength and temperature resistance, but that also means you have to print them at a higher temperature and they can kind of stink and give that styrene chemical smell when you're printing them. ASA has a little bit better UV resistance and chemical properties than ABS. Back to PLA, we also have a bunch of different colors of PLA. Most You can buy pretty much any color you want, even multiple colors at a time, like this color shift, blue and black. Then also a lot of them have fills in them. This you need a hard nozzle for, so it's not super common, but if you want to do something a little bit more fun, like print something that looks like wood, or metal that could be magnetic, or carbon fiber, that, that just looks great and hides the layer lines, this is the filament for you. We have Ninja Flex, which is kind of like TPU is most commonly called. These are a little bit more annoying to print with because they can get uh, wound around gears that used to drive your printer, especially if you have a Bowden set up like that. General rule of thumb, the more flexible it is, the more annoying it is. Then there's also nylons, which are also just depends on the chemical conflict. The physical properties you want, it's a little bit more flexible, but it still makes really tough parts. And then we have filaments such as dissolving filaments here, which you can run uh, with a support material, a dual nozzle and that will dissolve away your supports, make them easier to clean out or give you a better surface finish. Then there's also cleaning filament, but that can help clean out your nozzle. One important thing with filaments, you always want to keep them as dry and uh, protected from the humidity as possible. So leave them in, your, in the vacuum sealed bags with a desiccant can or build enclosure. Some people dry out the filaments. 